Hi guys, I put the water in the sink here for testing a couple of Poundland clockwork or wind up bath time toys. But before I let the water out, I'm going to try this out that I bought today in the charity shop. Cost me 25 pence in break, changing young lives. 25 pence I thought yeah we'll have that. What I like about it is it's one of those pull cord ones. You pull the cord to wind it up and then when you let that go yeah so it's these paddles that are going to drive it forwards although these arms do actually move a little bit. I don't think they're going to do anything about moving it forwards. Uh, made in China. Don't see any other manufacturer details. So let's give it a go. Hmm. You gonna go? How's it going forwards like that? <laughs> it's just done a couple of little paddles and that's been enough to pr propel it through the water. Come on, have I pulled you too tight or can't you cope with being in the water? No, it doesn't like being in water. Well, that's a bit disappointing. Dear me. I reckon we're going to be taking this one apart. I could probably just spray some lubricant in there and see if that frees it up a bit. I'll try a bit of lubrication first. Right. It's a little bit better. Still not perfect, is it? Oh, it's going a bit better, isn't it? That was spraying it with silicon oil. It's probably not what it's intended for, but uh, that does seem to have freed it up. Yeah. Well, for 25 pence, that's okay. The uh, Poundland toys I was trying in there in the previous video obviously cost a pound each. Stuck him again. Yeah. yeah, that works. I don't know if I will take it apart now. I might just try it on dry land, see how he goes. I tried him on the kitchen floor and he just spun round. He couldn't get any grip, so we'll try it on the carpet here.
Oh, yeah. Well, you can see he's spinning round on the carpet, so on the shiny floor he was hopeless. But on there, yeah, he works. Well, for 25 pence, I reckon that was a bargain. Seems a shame to take it apart because it is working absolutely fine. But... Let's see. Oh, yeah, that seems all right. Standard crosshead screw. Always one doesn't want to drop out, doesn't they? Okay, is that coming apart easily? Yes. Let's try and hold it together as it comes apart. Okay, that end, or that part, we've got a bit of foam to stop it sinking, and we've got the head, which we can pull out if we want to. And in here, this is the bit I wanted to see. We've got a standard clockwork motor. You'd either have a key attached to there to wind it up, or in this case we've got a bit of string wrapped around the pulley. And then, let's try and hold the bits together while it goes. Is it going to go? Oh, we don't want to lose... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. I think we are going to have to take it apart a bit further so we can see how it's working. Okay, lift that one off. Lift that one off. So they're pivoted on those two pillars. And they've got little slotted hole in the middle there that this uh, arm moves on and that arm it's got that big sort of slot effect on it which is operated by the cam on the inside of that wheel if I lift this out carefully so I think it's all going to come out together yeah So that's the cam that we're talking about. It's just an offset circle. I think you can see that. So as that's going around, then that's moving the yellow lever backwards and forwards. And the yellow lever the yellow lever sits there. So 
so that goes backwards and forwards like that. And if we put the legs back on, or flippers, or whatever we call those bits, put that one on because it does both of them at the same time. But those are just visual effect, they don't actually do anything as far as making it swim. I did take apart a rather nice one the other day where it did swim properly. So you have to look at my teardown videos to find it. I might put a link in the video description if I remember. So, let's see if we can get that back together again. watch that being pulled backwards and forwards. Yes, it goes between those two little pegs and sits on there. back in. Just in case you don't know, the trick is always to turn the screw backwards a little bit first until it finds its original thread position. Because if you just force it straight in, it cuts a new thread, which leads to it all stripping. Tighten it. Okay, so there we go. Job done. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily, so don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases.
you can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.